Okay, um, I'm going to talk about uh, input and output first. I'm going to talk about output first. And then later, I'm going to talk about input. But let's just focus on the output, uh, Python output. The, for the Python output, um, the print is, is, is the most common uh, function for the uh, output. But uh, you have to know something is called a format specifier. So, uh, for example, when you look at this uh, print function, right? Print uh, price per liter is, you can see the percent sign, and then you use dot and 2f. So f means a, so whenever you use a percent, first of all, this is a, it's called format specifier. And then you always, you have to use this percent sign inside a string, okay? And then this is basically um, is going to print value of the price. So after the string, they use another percent sign, and actually this is actual value. Okay. So, um, but it says it's going to it's wants to. So this is dot and two. That means it's going to print a two digit after decimal. So if the price per liter is 1.21997, they wants to what? You uh, specify, right, using the format specifier and specifying that, hey, I want a number, right? And to be uh, like, you know, I'm a, basically I want to show only what, two digit after a decimal point. So 1.2, actually two because nine right because of nine the number is going to be rounded up so it should be 2.22 and this one says uh it's it's, it's what it's going to uh, print the price right but 10 means uh they use a, a format specifier 10.2 right so f first of all f means a floating point number Right, a decimal number basically, and then ten means the total space is a ten, and then uh, after that, right, so there's a two, right? That two means a two uh, decimal, two digit after decimal point, right? So, uh, so this is like a format uh, string. So this, so I'll show you. Okay, so if you look at the format specifier, if you look at the format specifier, let's take a look at the example. And then this is like format specifier, right? So 10 means, so you first use a, a percent sign, right? And then this is like, this is a, a double quote. So 10 means total of a 10 space. This is a total of 10 space. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Right? Total of 10 spaces. And this 2 means what? This 2 means 2 digit after the decimal point. So 1 and 2. And then uh, after this uh, double quote, right? They use, use another percent. So this is like a matching, right? And then the price is... Uh, let's say you have to put the value, okay, price. So it, uh, let's just uh, run this example using a uh, Python shell. So let's just run this example. Uh, uh, specifier. So this is like what? This is uh, uh, this is regarding uh, output Python output. Okay, um, what you can do is let's say the price is equal to one point two one nine nine seven, and you want to only print um, this number 
and this number like uh, like you only print uh, two digit after decimal point so let's say 1.22 for example in this case you say print uh, the price is colon right and then you have to put the format specifier and then you have to use what um, this uh, percent sign and then let's say you want to 10 total space right you want 10 of them 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 you need like you need the 10 spaces then you have to 10 and then you need only what uh, two um two two numbers two digit after decimal point so dot two and you know that this is what this is not an integer right this is a floating point uh, floating point number then you have to say f means a floating point number and then you uh, in close parenthesis so this is string then space you have to put the value put this format specifier so you use another percent sign and then uh, open parenthesis and this is something that you want right price this is something that you want to print the value of uh, is um, you have to put the variable name or the value so the price and then this right okay so whenever you have open parenthesis you have to have a close parenthesis so you have one two open parenthesis and you need to have what two close parenthesis right and then let's just run this example Good, 1.22, right? Price is 1.22. Now, so this is like a format specifier, formatted, formatted output. And the syntax is like this. You have a format specifier. You can have multiple on format specifiers. And then, of course, you have to uh, same number of corresponding uh, values or the variable name, right? So this is percent %d, by the way. The percent %d means... Uh, you use a D for the integer and F for the uh, F for the uh, float number and S is for the string so in this example uh, the print right and then you have a format specifier right by the way the minus means a left justified <clears throat> so this is le left justifying a string minus so the 10 is a total uh, width it's a 10 and then <clears throat> so this is s means a string so you have to provide the string value total so uh, this is left justified and the total is it's showing like this right and with 10 and then this is total colon total colon right and then the 10 to f means this f means floating point right so the total length is a 10 and then 2 means uh, what the 10 is a total uh, width and the 2 is a the what uh, number of the digit after decimal so 2 9 so only two digit number and then this one is s means what 10 minus 10 s means s means first of all string the minus means left justified the 10 means what total um, total width right so uh, let's see so if you look at this example um, s is a string and then you have 10 right 10 total and that this value is a total right this is a string value so this matches with this guy and then you have another format specify f means what the price right i mean the sorry the f means uh what the uh decimal i mean the floating number and then total is a 10 the total width is a 10 and then you need what two uh digit after the decimal point two right and then corresponding value is the price 
right? So let's say you have prices in this example is let's say 17 point, let's say 2876 and something, right? Assuming that. Okay, so let's just uh, run this example in Python shell. Uh, let's say the price is equal to uh, 17.2876. And I'll just say another price number two. And then I'll say, I'll print. Then uh, what? Print. And percent minus ten means left left justified and s means a string right and then right after that you have another format specify percent you can have some space for the readability you know but okay so for the you know, percent and then 10 means a total width two what two means uh you need a two decimal number right and two digit after decimal but let's just make it a little bit different Let's say I just want I just want to have one digit after decimal point, and then F means a floating a point, and then I'm gonna close with uh, uh, the double string, and then you have some space for the readability, and then yes, you have to use a percent. Now you have to uh, provide a value for this format specifier. So we have two format specifiers right that means you need to provide two values so let's say it's a total so this is string right so you have to first say string total colon that's a total colon so this is a string right and this is for s and then comma separate and then you need to provide a value for the uh, F so basically floating point which is by the way D is for the integer so D and F for the uh, float and then price 2 right good so let's just print this guy good so the the price is 1.22 and then the total I mean okay so the total is what the total is 17.3 right why only one decimal because if you look at the uh, the total is left justified as you can see the total colon is left justified and the next one is um, it prints only what one decimal one digit right after decimal so let's just go back to the example and see. Uh, I only said one uh, one digit after decimal. And that's why you need to have a 17 point um, three, I believe. Let's go back to the result. Right. Because the number is rounded up. Okay? So that's the format specifier. And I want to take a look at this, um, the last page. And, okay, so please follow. The, by the way, D, S, D means, uh, here is D means integer. So please read this uh, uh, example, okay? And uh, make sure that you understand uh, all this example. Okay, so that's for the output. So I'm going to end my lecture here. That's, that's for the uh, format specifier, the Python output.